The Idaho Women's March is happening tomorrow on the steps of the Idaho Capitol building, and the march is an inclusive, nonpartisan gathering of women and supporters that focuses on empowering voices. Now, this year's Women's March is focused on the future generation of leadership in women's advocacy. And joining us now is one of two of the march's organizers, 14-year-old Yvonne Shen. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So first of all, could you tell us about the importance of the Idaho Women's March? Um, I think the Idaho Women's March is really important to kind of bring everyone together. And especially because I think feminism is one of the social issues that tends to be more like nonpartisan. And I think that's really powerful because so many people can unite over something like women's rights and fighting for what we deserve. Wonderful. And it looks like we got another guest there, Petra. Hi, how are you? Can you hear us? Hi, sorry I'm late. You're fine. So first of all, um, how long has Idaho been doing the Women's March? This is going to be the fifth year. The first one was in 2017. Um, it was huge. There was like 5,000 people there, um, which is amazing because that's like, I was 11 the first Women's March and that was the biggest mobilization I had seen in Idaho. Um, and it's amazing. There was like this huge sense of urgency around everyone getting together. What is unique about this year's march? Well, I mean, it's led by like Yvonne and I. It's led by all high school students, which is super unique. Um, and a friend of mine said it really well that like, because it's led by all high school students, there's this opportunity for like dialogue and for like moving together um, and working together. Um, so that's unique. And then also just like where we're at in our world is unique. There's a ton going on with Roe v. Wade. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of work to do. You know, I think some people are watching this right now and they're probably wondering, you know, are there any COVID precautions that are going to be in place if they want to come out there tomorrow? Yeah, uh, everyone's going to be social distancing and wearing masks. And then also you can tune in on Instagram or Facebook Live at uh, Idaho underscore women's underscore March. Wonderful. And then Yvonne, I know you'll be talking tomorrow. What, what will you be talking about? Um, I kind of just really want to talk about how there is so much like institutional and like there there are so many little things that we're taught just to accept as normal that absolutely should not be normal like for example it's completely normal for us to have to be expected to protect ourselves simply for going doing something like grocery shopping at night just because we're women in a world where women have been looked down upon for so long and so I feel like things like that kind of make me mad. So in my speech tomorrow, I really want to talk about things like that and how those things should really be something that we talk about even more than we already do. Because if we want to create change, we need to point out things that should not be accepted as normal. And so my goal with that is just to get people to see like, in order to stop the cycle, we need to not only protect our women, but we also need to teach men to not have to go out and do these kinds of things that where we are expected to be afraid. You know, real quick before we wrap up here, uh, what are your favorite parts of this march? Um, I think for me, it's just so cool going out and seeing everybody who supports a cause like this just come together and unite. Petra? Yeah. And I just like really believe in the power of like feminism to create unity and to fight extremism. Um, so I'm just really excited too. All right. Well, thank you both ladies. I appreciate your time here. Again, the Women's March is happening tomorrow on the steps of the Capitol at four o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be right back.